My name is Jim Elkins. Name of the organization that I work for and my role with the organization, it's Velocity Truck Centers based out of uh, Southern California. My role is regional service director. I oversee the service operations for uh, a certain region, which my region is Arizona, which we have four locations and Nevada, which we have two locations. We were deemed right out of the gate along with with the transportation industry as essential to keep the trucks up and going. Matter of fact, in a couple of our locations, not all of them, we had to add a third shift so we could work on the trucks around the clock to ensure that they were back on the road as quickly as possible because they were hiring or hauling the essential goods, both for the grocery store chains as well as the medical field. So it was, you know, it, we had guys getting more hours and still do. Um, in our busier locations than, than they've gotten before in the past. The job outlook for students graduating from UTI, it might be a little bit harder for them to get their foot in the door with some companies, but other companies like ours, uh, you know, we have our, our, with our relationship with UTI, we have our internship that we do. And at any given time, we, we're running four to six interns through our Collison shop that are current students it, through some phase or another at UTI. Whether it be the Finish First program from Freightliner or the, you know, they're in the Cummins program or in the, just the diesel side of it itself. So it's, while it may be a little bit tougher, persistence is gonna pay off. Um, find out, I would encourage your students to find out who the decision maker is with the company they wanna get on and just start speaking to them on a regular basis. As I said before, we we are looking for good quality people. And no matter what is going on at the given time, um, we're gonna bring good quality people on because that's how we are gonna grow and build our business. As far as um, you know, career advancements, uh, most companies, 90% of them, ours included, like to promote from within. When we, when we are looking for, you know, a foreman or a shift lead or, you know, even a service manager, we always, 90, 98% of the time, we promote from within. And because we, they know that what our company policies and procedures are, they know the team camaraderie that's, that's required for that location. And it just, it's always been a, it's always a better fit. What we look for and what I look for is attendance first. Um, you know, the, the, one of the, the things that I like about UTI is the way it's a year round school. So it, it definitely encompasses what, what, you know, your typical working world is. Um, so it's attendance first, then grades, and then it's how you fit in with the team. Um, we do something unique here. We have a hiring team. Once you get past the initial interview of with, you know, where the technical questions are asked, then you meet with a, gr a group of people within our company that, that has nothing to do really with the service department as far as the shop goes. They may be a warranty processor or something like that, but it's because we wanna ensure the people that we bring on are gonna fit into the culture that we've developed within our company. So it's as much about the team part of it as it is about the, the grades, you know, but if, if, if the attendance is poor and there's an exception to every rule, there's all, you know, there's, there could be a good reason for it, but if, for the most part, if the attendance is poor, we're not even going to talk to you. Understand that this isn't a job. It's a career. Being a technician, it used to be a job. Back when I got started, it was a job and you would jump from one dealer to another dealer for a quarter or 50 cents an hour more. It's a, it's a career now and you got to be passionate about your career. If you're not passionate about, about it, you probably aren't going to go up, you know, raise through the ranks very, very quickly. You know, we have guys that have come out of UTI and four years later, they're here making a six figure income. Um, and, and very proud of what they do and what they bring to the table. And, you know, they're, they're well-versed, they speak well, they can talk to engineers, 
and they do talk to en engineers on a daily basis. Um, so be passionate, believe in what you're doing, believe in yourself and just be passionate about what you're doing. Our techs keep abreast um, on what's going on within our industry. It's, it's what I tell people when they come to work for us is day one is the first day your training begins and your last day with us will be the last day your training begins. Everything that you're doing in between that, you are training and the training never stops because our industry is ever evolving. Whether, and it could be anything from safety and safety practices and procedures to, you know, the actual product, the actual vehicle itself. Um, we do through Daimler, through Freightliner, uh, through Detroit, through Cummins, and also through our safety stuff. It's 80% of what we do is online. So we're very, very used to doing the training online. Um, it's interactive online. It's, it's done online. And then you have to do that. The, those are the prerequisites to get to a hands-on class. Now we, the hands-on training part of it is currently been suspended. So now we're doing virtual hands-on, which it's, it's unique, but it's, it's also, I think probably the way it's going to be going down the road. The way the industry is evolving right now, we're in a very unique time. We're seeing the on, you know, electric vehicles are coming out. Um, that's a whole different avenue than any of us have ever dealt with. And while we've seen other, you know, forms of power for the transportation industry come and kind of go like CNG, um, even though it's still around and stuff, it, it didn't take off. Like electric vehicles, I think are gonna take off and have started to take off. There's that. There's, you know, we're talking about pl platooning, you know, trucks going down the road, you know, bumper to bumper to bumper. And um, the driver is basically just there to get the truck on the on the freeway and off the freeway. Uh, thing, things like that, the ever, you know, the ever evolving emission standard, you know, the new, the newest standard for emissions is that the air coming out of the vehicle has to be cleaner than the air that we brought into the vehicle and to get us there. And, and the emission side of it's been challenging for us, um, has been a challenge for this industry from the, from the get go back in 2007 when all this started. So that's evolving. Now we're also, you know, there's miles per gallon that we have to get to along with making the air coming out of the vehicle cleaner than what's going in. So it's a very unique time. There's a lot of moving pieces going on, which is really exciting. And it definitely helps to the, the younger generation coming out of you know, school right now to, to be able to adhere to that and, and get them going and training and moving in the direction of the electric vehicles and the platooning and, and all that's going on with the vehicles currently. UTI is unique from the other trade schools that I've dealt with in the fact that they have the Finish First program, which is specific to Daimler. I know they have other programs, you know, like Cummins and stuff that's specific to certain products too. And that really, really makes a difference when you're, um, you, the students really have a clear understanding of what they're looking at and what they're dealing with when they come out of, come out of the school. And they also understand UTI students are, are usually way more understanding that they're in, they're coming into this at an entry level and you got to grow but also they know after they you know because we're involved with uti that it, you can grow pretty quickly and like i said you know to go to go from making an entry level wage of 20 bucks an hour to making a six figure year income in four years is pretty remarkable for a 22 year old or a 20 year old you know what you guys have done um through UTI with your online stuff here recently because of the, you know what's going on, I think is help is going to help and will help the students as they come out because as I said earlier, such a large percentage of what we do is online um, with our training and our ongoing training. So that's going to also you know prepare the the student to what they're going to be faced with once they they get here and in the real world because the online stuff. You're not in a classroom every day. You're not, there's a, a lower level of accountability and it's really important that 
they, you know, the student has the initiative to get in, get it done. Um, they're not going to be reminded of it. They, they know that they have to get it done. It's, you know, and to, to move on with their career, they got to get it done and to move forward. So I think that's really going to help. I think the content of what you guys are doing online is, is really going to help. So when they do do the hands on part of the, the training for you guys, they'll be that much farther ahead. Um, getting it to get it done. So I, I think it's a very important piece. And you know that and you guys I think have embraced what we're trying to do on site within our dealers um, with you know because of the current events that are that have taken place.